All right, fam. I got it. I got it. Cookie butter by Skin Potion. I found it. I got it. It came in. It wasn't on back order. I have a whole collection and I want to talk to it. Talk about it with you. Well, hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kali Nari and we talk about various different fragrances, how we layer them, uh, if clones, we just really get into it. So if you have not ever seen me and I just happened to pop up on your feed, then come on, subscribe and join the family uh, so we can continue to grow and um, I can talk about things that maybe you are interested in. I like to make uh, my YouTube channel more for my followers and not so much for me. As you see, I have a variety of fragrances. Uh, so most likely I have the fragrance you want to talk about. But today uh, I want to talk about Skin Potion. If you have not heard about Skin Potion, this is the video for you. In this video, I'm going to go through all the ones that I have, all the ones I'm still trying to get, uh, because it is a great line. So it looks like this, just to give you a quick um, insight. And I feel like we should jump into it. Okay, so this is in no particular order. Um, this I, I'm just grabbing them off of the counter. I have a total of four body butters, two lotions, and a scrub now i had a body oil but we're going to talk about that body oil soon and why i looked up and it was gone but the first one that i have is seven mile beach right so seven mile beach is your it's just a really fresh beachy smell it's clean um i find myself always wanting to go to this one when i just i'm kind of just fresh i want to be fresh that day normally on a hot day here in Texas, or just if I'm heading off to the beach. I think that was the idea that's behind it. Uh, the notes in it is going to be your sea, mist breeze. So it's that breeze, that's, that misty breeze that's out on the ocean early in the morning, almost like a morning dew, basically. Uh, it has juicy honeydew in it, and it has uh, turquoise waters. So think fresh. So if you're interested in a body butter from them and you don't particularly want something that's super, super strong, then I say Seven Mile Beach. Go to Seven Mile Beach. Great. A fragrance that this would work beautifully with is the original Dulce Gabbana, right? And it looks like this. And that one is because that one has that fresh fruitiness to it, right? It's fresh, it's pottery, it's aquatic. Uh, the notes in that one is very similar to the Seven Mile Beach because you're going to get neroli, you're going to get papaya, uh, you're going to get water lily. So that's that fresh watery dew note. Uh, and it's musk, right? So this is like the fresh skin, skin kissed skin. That is what Seven Mile Beach is for me and what I think of it. So if you're on their website, because there's going to be a restock today uh if you're on their website and you're looking for that you want to just get started then i would say seven mile beach is a good starting one all right and the next one is ambrosia oh the i love ambrosia there are a few of them in the line that i am a fanatic for but ambrosia just when i got it i didn't think i would like it as much right because it is it's a honey sweet fragrance right so there's this dark berries or like a berry note that's in it uh they said that it's violet um honey you get amber vanilla and a must right so because it has honey and i love a good honey fragrance and if not i have a whole video that's telling you how much i love honey fragrances i had to get it ambrosia i had to get it right so just simply for the honey fragrances and what I like so much about the body butters from Skin Potion is it's so moisturizing. It is so, like, it's like a, I have to show you. There's a shine that this gives you that is unmatched. 
right? So it's thick. I want you to know that by looking inside of it. It is is a thick, it's a thick formula. You're gonna rub it together, warm it up, and when you put it on your skin, like this. Oh my God! Look at that. Look at the glue. I mean, it is such a beautiful moisturizing fragrance. So if, imagine this. Oh, it smells so good. Imagine this on freshly showered skin, right? So your skin is going to be so soft and so um, touchable. And it's not oily. I know you're looking at it and you're like, oh my God, that is going to be so oily, Claudia. No, look, it melts right into your skin. It is not sitting on your skin. It literally melts right into your skin. Love it. And then the fragrance stays. It's not one of the ones where it's just fragrant when you first put it on and then you can't smell it again. It melts in and it begins to project out of your pores, out of your skin as the days goes on and your skin warms up. But Ambrosia, Ambrosia, if I want to wear Pure Havana, I'm pulling Ambrosia. When I'm putting on, like say I'm going out and I just want to wear my... 1961 Noxus by um, George Off. Fresh out the shower, I'm layering this on my skin because I'm going to glow, I'm going to have a shine, I'm going to smell great. Okay, so say you don't have those two in your collection. This even works with Red Warm Addictive by Tower, which is, looks like this. I know you have this. And if you do not have this, you know someone who does. This works great works great does not fight with the fragrance beautiful i even wear it when i wear scandal right so this is one of the ones that is so multifaceted that you can actually blend it in with a niche fragrance a designer fragrance it is just it adds that extra honey goodness behind any of your honey fragrances any of your gourmand fragrances ambrosia Ambrosia, Ambrosia, Ambrosia. You need to get it. Okay, so before we get deep into the two that I cannot get enough of, uh, I have one. I want to tell you about it because I don't know. Maybe he'll put it back in stock. And he being Ray, because that is the owner of uh, Skin Potion. If he'll put it back in stock, if it's not going to be in stock, I'm not 100% positive because I didn't see it on the website. But I have to tell you about it. So if he ever puts it back on there, that you'll get it. And that is Aphrodisiac. Aphrodisiac is good. It is what the name says. Aphrodisiac was is vanilla, is spicy vanilla. It is cinnamon, it's jasmine petals, it's cypress. Is cedar wood is must. It is like this dark, woody, and cultivating fragrance. It's great. <laughs> it's really good. It's a very sexy, almost inviting, well, absolutely inviting fragrance. When I pull out Aphrodisiac, because I've already put the other one on, I don't want to double up the fragrance. So you pretty much know from the, when I showed you before, what it looks like as the uh, body butter. But aphrodisiac, this is for late night. This is for a late night fragrance. This is where you want your partner to know that it's, it's, it's about to go down, right? That is aphrodisiac. The cinnamon, the edibleness of that fragrance, you, you just have to pair it. You have to pair it with something that's on the same level with that. When I wear aphrodisiac is when I want to be seen. Like I want my husband to see me, right? I want to walk in a room and my outfit is talking. My body is bamming. Like I just, I want to be seen. That is this one. So this is your angel share. Aphrodisiac is on, is on your skin. When you want to wear, uh, what's another one? Um, That's my go-to. Kaite Night. That is it. <laughs> Beautiful fragrance. All of these have that more edibleness to it, right? It's it's a fragrance that when you put it on, somebody just want to take a bite out of you. Another one, uh, men. I always talk about women, so I want to also bring up men. Spice Bomb. 
any one of the series, but my favorite would be to be, uh, pair it with Spice Bomb and Ferret. Would be great. All of these are like cinnamon. It has a bit of cinnamon note in these fragrances uh, as a base, and you want to kind of pull it more uh, forward. Let's see, another one. Let me think of another one. Uh, uh, how, how could I have forgotten? forgotten this one? Intoxicated by Killian. Aphrodisiac, intoxicated fragrance. It's a no-brainer. It's an absolute no-brainer. Love it. But again, I want to uh, say that Aphrodisiac, uh, when I went to search it, when I was uh, uh, editing the video, I did realize that this one is not on the website. But once you see him put it back up, run and go buy it. Now, this one here is, it was all the rave, right, at first, right? Everybody was talking about Kama Sutra. This is really, if you're not following Peyton Charles, Peyton Marie Charles, you really should. <laughs> you should be following her. But this is one one of the ones that she had. And she talked about, and I was like, okay, well, let me, let me try it. Let me try it, right? You know, Peyton made it sound like it smelled so good. And that's Karma Sutra, right? So she had the body, she had the whole footy, full body set. And you can get the whole bundle. And let's see, I want to make sure I want to... I'm clicking on now to what's in the bundle. So, of course, you see the picture of it, right? So, in this bundle, you're going to get the lotion, the body oil, the cream. And I had the oil. I had the oil, and ugh, that oil was so good. It was so... That got, that oil was so good. I, used, I looked it up, and I had used it, right? But this is what the bottle of the oil looks like. And I, too, as soon as this restock happens, will be getting that one. But uh, you're going to get the oil, you're going to get the body butter, you're going to get lotion, you're going to get a scrub inside of it. Uh, the bundle is is really good. So if you want to kind of get into it, it's all, it's a, there's a body polish that's in it. Uh, so if you want to get into Skin Potion and you are more into the va va boom, right? You're not really a soft scent type of female or male, right? This one is it. I would say buy the buy the bundle first, and then that way you'll get a little bit of everything, and then you'll figure out which ones are your go-tos. Like, I found that the oil was my go-to, because that's how I did it. So, the oil was my go-to, the, the body cream, the body butter was my go-to, and that's every time there's a restock, that's what I'm constantly going back to go get, uh, because I actually did enjoy it. But Kama Sutra, uh, God. What can I not say? Uh, what what can I say about Kama Sutra that you haven't already heard, right? So I feel like everyone talks about this one. <sighs> Kama Sutra is sexy. It's um, it's it's like it's it's almost it's not the sexiness like you would think of that deep woody sexiness, musky set sexiness, right? This is more of the come come hither. <laughs> I was sexy. Because it has uh papaya, it has lychee, it has mango nectar in it. So it's like so sweet and and fruity. And then there's this rose. It's the Bulgarian rose, right? It's great. I like this here. That's why I keep buying it, I guess. Right then, it's Angar Wood is in it. So this one, um, I can't even get into all the fragrances that I wear with this one here. This is my, if I had to have Easy Reach one from the uh, Skin Potion, I find myself grabbing this one constantly because of all the different notes that are in it. Because of all the different ways you can use it, it is not too many fragrances that this wouldn't work with. But if you want to just pick one, um, if it was an Argyle Wood fragrance, I would go with, I don't know. I, did, I just can't really pick one because I can't tell you that I don't put it on with everything. I put on, I even, I even put Kama Sutra behind Delina, right? To just give Delina just a, a little added more. Cause Delina's real soft and delicate, and you know, pretty, pretty fragrance. And I put this up behind it and make it a sexy, pretty fragrance. Like right? Wayne M, 
uh, fragrances where you see a woman and she's dressed and she's so proper and she's so perfectly put together. So the guy dates her because she thinks that she's so classy and oh, she's just a lady, you know, a woman's woman and so forth, so on. And then he get her home. Ha! She put them together. She get them together. Karma says, that is what I think of this. This is just an absolutely gorgeous fragrance. One that I feel you have to go get. You have to go get conversation. It's like you hear about it and people are always talking about fragrances. And I know I, I feel victim to that too, right? So they talk about it then you get in you like, oh, it is so not nowhere near all of the hype. This is not hype. This, this is not hype. This is just good. This is not hype. Buy it. Buy it. Like I said, they're even, they even have uh, sample kits, right? And I make sure that I post the sample here. So I'm telling you about all of them because there are so many different things you can get from uh, skin potion. But there's a sample kit in it. I say, I call it a sample kit of all the body lotions. This probably was not his sample kit. It's just the name that I gave it. But in it is mostly all of them, right? And you get it to dip and dab into each one of them. And you could be just as more fanatic about it as I am. But I love Karma Sutra. And if I can think of any fragrances that uh, I would... I would most definitely wear with this one. I'll make sure that I post them or they have been posting while I was describing Karma Sutra to you. But I really don't have one. This is one of the ones that I just, every time I want to lather myself up, I want to have some kind of oil on me along with a good moisture, I'm grabbing Karma Sutra. I'm grabbing it and I'm not even thinking about it. It's a no-brainer. I'm lathering up. I can spray any fragrance on it, and it will not fight with the fragrance. This is a good one. Okay, so let's talk about it, right? I know you saw my excitement. I was absolutely excited to get this in my collection. Every time I went to go get this one here, it was sold out. I would log into it. I would put it in my bucket, and if you're not quick with it when it comes to skin potion, I'm telling you right now, if you are not quick with it, you will lose the product so what you don't want to do is get the message that says oh sorry out of stock or so forth so on right so cookie butter ray i don't know what you was thinking i don't know what you, how this came up to be a thought but thank you cookie butter if you are a gourmand lover fragrance person like gourmand is your fragrance note God, this is great. Like you have to, you got to get this one. You got to get cookie butter. Cookie butter be the, needs to be the first one that you get. Cookie butter should be the first one you put in your, your uh, basket. Cookie butter. Get it. Cookie butter is just what you hear. That's what I like about his, his line is that it's not anything... Um, you know, sometimes you can get a, a line and then they say, oh, it is, is cherry blossom, da 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 whatever. And when you get it, it don't smell like cherry blossom. It smells like, like, like some kind of flower, but it's not cherry blossom, right? Or you get something that says Gourmand King. Or Gour like they have these powerful names to these fragrances or these uh, body stuff. And then when you get it, you like, okay, that's not it. That is not the problem with Skin Potion. Cookie butter smells like a fresh cooked cookie. Fresh out the oven. When you post a little, kind of set a little bit so that it can start to harden. Because when you first get a cookie out the oven, it's still kind of, you know, it's kind of wet and, and, and um, gooey. And you need to have it set so that it can harden up and it can be a cookie. But it smells so good. It smells so delicious that you always seem to eat the cookie before it hardens cookie butter it's that in-between stage this one here is going to give you the cacao right you're going to get uh some coffee notes you're going to get some bulgarian vanilla in it it is just truly a a fragrance that someone is going to feel like taking a bite out of you i like this one 
This one here I have paired with, um, and I'm not quite sure if y'all remember this fragrance, and I hope that you do, but it was called I'm in Cookie by Carol's Daughter. And it looks like this right here. That one is one that, in a, if I, and I wish I would have taken it out for this video, but this video is strictly about uh, a skin potion, but that's a good one. Um, and I have that whole line. I have the lotion and, and the fragrance. But this is the oil, the body oil that I'm putting on my skin when I wear that one. Great. So if you remember the uh, the fascination people have for almond cookie, then that's this one here. This is so, it has like this creamy caramel note to it. So any uh, caramel fragrance would work great with this. Any chocolate fragrance would work great with this. I just thought of a good um, one would be Dua's uh, Chocolate Affair would work amazing with this. And it doesn't have to be a Garmont fragrance. Uh, you can probably find a fragrance that is... Um, kind of needs like a garmin hit to it it needs to be sweetened cookie butter now along with that i bought the whole uh set right so the set looked like this so i also when i wear my cookie butter i am going to do the body scrub right so there's a ton of body scrubs see how you, i just want you to see the consistency of it too so if there's a fragrance you like karma sutra has a body scrub if you like um ambrosia there's a body scrub, right? And the body scrub too smells edible. Oh God, it says, it's like being in a cookie shop. I love the way this smells. This smells great. It's good. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited to have it in my collection. Now, all the other ones I'm going to talk about from this point forward is going to be ones that I just, I had them. I used them all up. And just like you, I got to catch the restock. Right. And then there were a few that I wasn't really ready yet to smell, but I want to make sure I talk about them with you all so that if it's your type of fragrance, that you'll go get those. OK, so there is coconut milk. Coconut milk is one that is it's a very soft, milky fragrance. Right. So if you're into Latonic uh, type fragrances, then this would be the one I have it in the lotion. Uh, because I didn't, um, I haven't got the body cream for it, right? But the lotion actually works really good. So with this line, you can get it in lotion, you can get it in body cream, you can get an exfoliant, there's body oils. So there's a type of, if there's a particular way you like to layer your fragrances or you just want to moisturize your skin, Skin Potion is going to have uh, those type of things for you. And when I think of Latonic fragrances, so let me uh, think of a fragrance that will kind of give you, it'll give you the vibe of what I'm talking about. Um, uh, if you have smelled... God, what is the name of it? If you have smelled Italica, Italica by Georgiev, right? So that, that one has a more caramel sweetness to it. Uh, it's almost, um, so some people would say it's almost sickening sweet. If you put uh, coconut milk with it, it tones it down. Kind of takes a little bit more down and goes more to the Latonic fragrance. Uh, the one that I have on the way and I haven't gotten it yet, but I had to get it is going to be Las Liquidis Imaginaires, uh, Blanche, but, uh, and I want to say Petite, right? But it looks like this. I want to make sure that I do have it posted. It looks like this. Uh, that one is on the way. It's one of another one of those fragrances that, uh, everyone was talking about it. So I kind of waited. I dragged my feet on it and now I have to have it, right? Because everyone... Yeah, everyone says it smells good. I've smelt it on other people, and so it's coming. Uh, if so, that's another one that I'm going to wear this lotion with. If you have ever smelled, I'm trying to find. I'm thinking of some that are still in stock, right? So one of the things that you'll find a fragrance, and it won't still be in stock. And I kind of don't want to tell y'all about it if it's not really still in stock. Uh, but another one would be Mason, Mason Martin Magella. And it's Coffee Break. Coffee Break has that fresh in the coffee shop smell to it. 
uh, with a touch of cream. Coconut milk is going to take it to the next level. All right, so what's another one that is in the Skin Potion line that uh, I didn't get it? Um, I enjoyed it, but I didn't get it. Because, again, I'll tell you that, and here is the how I did, how I started to get into uh, Skin Potion, is I bought this right here. So this is all the lotions, and, and these lotions was in there. And it just was a few of them that just was not something I I wanted to add yet. Not that I didn't want in my collection ever. I just, it wasn't one of the first ones, you know, so I didn't buy all of them. I kind of been kind of working myself through it. And another one is called Royal Sandalwood, right? Royal Sandalwood uh, would work great with any sandalwood fragrance. It is just a seductively memorable fragrance. So it's more on the woody side. So if you have any fragrances that would need a bit of like a woody touch to it. Uh, sandalwood is kind of in a lot of fragrances. So I can't say, and it's another one of the ones that you can't really put a particular fragrance, you would say, uh, to wear it with. Uh, but anything that has sandalwood in it, there is sandalwood in oak by uh, Scent scent of woods that i think would work great with that one um and actually i've actually worn it uh there's another one that's a sandalwood based fragrance that i would say people should get oh god what is another one i cannot if i can think of them and right now because i'm trying to think of it is the only reason why i cannot remember but if i'm thinking about them i'm probably popping them up uh, when I'm doing the editing, I'm popping them up so that you'll, you'll actually see them. And of course, in the description, along with how to get to Skin Potions website today for the restock is in the description. And down there, I've, I've, I've posted all the different fragrances. But Royal Sandalwood was one of the ones I enjoyed, but I don't, I didn't want to make it my first. But I am going to eventually have it. All right, so the last one, this is the last one that was inside the box when I was trying to figure out which one I want to go with, and it's called Dark Musk. Looks like this, right? So Dark Musk was, to me, um, leaned more masculine, right? So if I was to get that one, I would probably end up getting it for my husband, uh, for him to wear, and because he's not really into a whole lot of fragrances. He kind of wears whatever I decide to pick out for him. It, it wasn't one that I wanted to get at the moment right and i'm not saying that i won't again i'm I, I love this line so i'm going to get it but this one was like a rain soaked woodiness right so it was real woody based and then it had bergamot and then it had lavender in it um when i when i was trying out for myself a uh, dark must uh i layered it with uh libre ysl libre worked great a lot of people either complain about the lavender note that's in that fragrance, but I don't know why. It's one of the be best parts of it. Another one that I layered it with, um, or I would say you should layer it with, because I didn't personally layer it with this one because I did use it a lot with Libre, is going to be Mon Guerlain. That's a good one. That has a bit of a lavender woodiness to it. It kind of gives it more body if you were to layer it with it. If you are a man and you happen to be watching, then you, you, you too want lathered, moisturized skin. We always tend to forget about the men, right? Men want to be soft and, and not really soft in being, but soft in the touch, right? They want to smell good. They want to have good projection. I would layer this one or I would put this on my skin if I was a man with a lavender extreme. I would put dark musk. Because dark musk is going to give it more of that bergamot and lavender, which is also in uh, Tom Ford Lavender Extreme, and kind of promote it up. If you are a Sauvage lover, right? Uh, and I know Dior Sauvage is, is, is a cult favorite to some folks, right? <laughs> but if you into that one, this one here will kind of make it just a little bit different where you're not smelling like everyone. It'll give you a little more bergamot. It'll give you a little more lavender to it. It'll take some of that uh, 
I know that it has that warm, warm spiciness to it that is just like a woman catcher, according to some men, right? Uh, but it has that cinnamon, nutmeg, and all that kind of stuff in the opening where this lavender and bergamot and like this woodiness would give that one more body. Like more body, more kind of bring it a little bit down because, you know, that fragrance can get a bit clawing. Uh, I would wear this one here. So I found that dark must for me was more for the men. It was more for men and it would do amazing on male skin. I had to come on. I had to kind of tell y'all about the fragrances that or the notes or line that was at Skin Potion because I love this line. I absolutely love this line. I want you to fall in love with the line too. I purposely held on to this video for a while because I taped it previously because I wanted to make sure that when it went out, it went out on the same day that there was a restock so that you can fall in love with it too. I didn't want to tell you about the fragrance and then you hit the website and you can't find it. If by chance you're watching this video and they have not done the restock yet because it was supposed to be on uh, April 7th at 7.30 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time, right? So if you happen to have watched the video and it's not that time yet, write down all the ones you're interested in and go back to the website. Just keep going back to the website uh, and try to get it somewhere around this time. If you happen to be watching this video and it is past the date of the restock, again, write down the ones that you like. That's what I've been doing. Write down the ones that you like. Hold on to those and keep up with my page. You should be subscribed to this page. I promise you, every time there's a restock, I will make it my effort to let you know in the community uh, tab that there is a restock coming and that you should go get it. I know you're going to fall in love with it because I did. So I already know you're going to fall in love with it because you like what I like or we are in the same family of fragrances. So of course, these are going to be another one that you're going to add. I greatly appreciate that you all watch these videos that I am making. You're making me feel I could continue to do this. So on that note, I'm going to tell you have a wonderful day wonderful night whenever it was that you were able to watch this video and i'm gonna see you in the next video